Celebrity Angelina Jolie recently had a double mastectomy, a surgery removing the breasts. This procedure and decision has a lot of people talking. If faced with the same choices, well, what would they do? KTK Streets of Sardina right now live at our News Update Center with more on that. Hey, Neil, it's been the buzz all day long. And what would they do if faced with a high percentage of risk of having cancer? I'm very, very um, happy that she went publicly about her surgery. Actress, wife, and mother, 37-year-old Angelina Jolie, shares her difficult decision of having a double mastectomy, an inherited gene that gave Jolie a 87% risk of breast cancer and a 50% chance of ovarian cancer. Reports say Jolie yeah. had a mutated BRCA1 gene, a gene Brocca which two. raises the risk of so breast and ovarian cancer. The BRCA1 and BRCA2 stands for breast cancer 1 breast cancer 2. Each one of them associated with different as percentage of certain other cancers. Dr. V says BRCA1 is the most common and most breast cancer is sporadic, not genetic. Experts say more women are taking preventative measures, getting a mastectomy, removal of the breast, and some are removing their ovaries to prevent ovarian cancer or recurrence. I can tell you about 95% of patients who have had that, that, you know, the, the genetic mutation, they are so proactive. You know, they, you know, if they have diagnosed one breast cancer, they want everything out. A breast cancer survivor, mother of three from Lindale, had a double mastectomy. Stacy Kirkham says she was thankful to have the option. And it was just a no-brainer for me. I didn't want to have to go through breast cancer treatment ever again. Uh, I wanted to continue to be a mother. Women find Jolie to be courageous. She did the right thing and I would do the same thing and I've already looked at this several years ago. Now I'm just so proud of her for uh, making motherhood more important than Hollywood. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more from Dr. V and people choosing surgery to prevent cancer. And Dr. V says it's hard to detect ovarian cancer than breast cancer. She says if something doesn't feel right, get checked. Reporting live in News Update Center, Teresa Sardina, KTK News.